Hey, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to go over how to get Slack notifications from Go High Level. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to um, the settings and you want to go into integrations. Once you're on integrations, there'll be a Slack that should be on here. Um, and if it's not, there it is. All right. So Slack and then you're just going to connect your Slack account. Make sure you have uh, admin access to that Slack account that you want to connect. So once you're connected, uh, then you're going to go into the automations tab. So we're going to go back here. We're going to go to automations. And then this is, I want some automations for a new lead and then appointment book. So we're going to go into the new lead and then we're going to adjust this. So the trigger, you can have the trigger be whatever you want um, for this account and this client. What we're doing right now is he wants the trigger to be actually a form submission. You can have the trigger be a form submission, a new contract. You can really have it be like whatever you want. Um, so we're going to have a Facebook form and then page is P1 training. Uh, if it is um, a lead form submitted from this page, we're going to save the trigger, and then we're going to send a notification to Slack. So um, I had this as a very basic one. You can basically have the location, contact name, contact phone. And then when you save this and then test it, you're going to come over here and then uh, make sure you save the action first. You can have all sorts of information in here too. I'll, sh I'll show you a cool one after this, but I just want to show you. Save this, you're gonna test it, test workflow. I already have a uh, test account for myself. Uh, I guess I'll just, I'll just test with this person. So then we're gonna run tests. And um, oh, and one thing that I didn't go over because I already had it set up is, I'll just set up a new one so you can see. So on Slack, you're gonna go over to Actions, Slack, and then you're gonna choose the account. So right now I only have one account. You can link multiple Slack accounts if, um, if you're, running it through that or anything you need there. Then the event, um, you can send it to a private public channel or directly to a user. Right now, I'm just doing private channels that uh, that it is, but basically you just select this and then select, right now we just have the alert channel, what channel you would want. And then you can do the message. So um, kind of the, I'll go over the advanced settings here. So the advanced settings I have are, I think I already have them. Um, okay, so this is an appointment booked one. Um, so let's say the triggers an appointment was booked. Congrats, an appointment was booked. You can have the location. So that is the location. So if you're running this on multiple accounts, um, then you can have the location name. That's just the location of this sub account. Contact first name, last name, their email, contact phone. How you get any of these in here is just this little button on the right here. And you can go to contact and then it has all this information. And then basically you can get user information, calendar information, anything like that and uh, and put it into here. So this is really cool. This is a how to get the direct contact ID. So when you send this notification, it will um, it will automatically update uh, or when they press on it, it'll go to that exact uh, contact ID. Um, so I'll show you how that works here in a second. But we can just save the action. I don't I don't need this additional one. But uh, and then in Slack, since we already tested it, we're going to go to the alerts channel, and then you can see here came up with the alerts. So you can see. Right now, um, this one, it had the, you know, the name of the account, the name of the person, email, phone number. So this was, um, this was one of the accounts where um, I had the account, the name, email, phone, and then direct, a direct link to the actual contact to make it a lot easier to just, if you have setters in here, they can call the leads within five minutes um, or the appointments booked. Um, so this is like call within five minutes. Um, and then you can, we have an SOP in here for the appointment setters. So that's the basic way of how you actually do it. So now I'm going to go in and update the um, update this and show you how to update so it goes directly to that contact ID. So I already have it saved here um, in my uh, in this. So this is the one that we need to update. So it's going to be a new lead. You just copy and paste this. And basically, what it is: new lead, call within five minutes. I have the location name, contact and then the contact ID. So this is not correct because it's a different account that I have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this and then go get the actual account. So if I pressed on that, it wouldn't actually work right now because it's tied to another account. So here's how you update the, that account ID. So you're gonna come back here and then you're just going to, you can go to any, uh, any contact and then just, um, just go here. And then here's the location information. So um, you could, uh, and basically, this is the part that I need to update here. So I'm just going to copy this, and then we're going to go back to the automations. And then the new lead Slack automations here. I'm going to update this. 
And then in this location ID, see how it has this big string of letters right after location. We're going to update that with the one I just had. So now we're going to save action here. Save action again. You have to save it, save it twice to make sure it works. And now we're going to test this again to make sure that it works. So we're going to test the workflow. We're going to select the contact. I don't know if I have a, okay, we'll do, a, we'll do this one. And we're going to run the test. So now it should, when I go to this, it should open up directly in here. So we're going to test it out. So we're going to go here, go to the alerts. We have a new alert. Fantastic. All right, we can get Slackbox out of the way here. And you can see here, new lead, call within five minutes. It has the name of the account, the name of the person, email, phone number, and then direct access. So when I click this, it comes up exactly with the contact um, contacts information. So we come here, Pablo test, and literally they can call right here. So literally that it immediately happens and then um, and then it's uh, and then they can call them from here. So that's how you set it up and you can set up any type of Slack automation um, just as simply as that. So now I'm going to set up a appointment with one.